Hello, I'm Fon Quinta, and this is Prime News Live from the headquarters of the studios of Ma Media Prime Television here in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. Now, schools have effectively resumed today, October 5, 2020, in Cameroon, after about seven months of shutdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. Our reporter, Lasha Kingsley, visited some schools in the economic capital and says day one was effective. His report. The 2020-2021 school year has effectively kicked off in the nation's economic capital, Douala. In most schools visited by My Media Prime Television, the barrier measures put in place by the government of Cameroon to stop the spread of COVID-19 are being strictly followed. Ms. Patricia Babin is the head teacher at the Bridge International School in the Douala 5 municipality. And as you can see, the tables are set so that in the middle area they can still play within that area safely with their peers. They have to wash their hands before dinner and after dinner. They have their hand sanitizers and they are supposed to wear visors or masks when they are in common areas. That's the corridor, that's the bathroom, and they close the lid of the bathroom before they play. To Kaye Dennis, Dean of Studies at Juval International School, specific instructions have been dished out to teachers to assist the students go through a smooth transition from the long holidays imposed by coronavirus pandemic. Some of the pupils and students have this to say on day one of school resumption. We just had a small conversation with our teachers and also our class. I was happy to come back to school and I was happy to see my friends. I learned the class learners, the, the learners attribute. So for any topic being introduced, the teachers have been instructed to do a brief activation of related topics briefly before to refresh the students' minds before proceeding with lessons. At the government bilingual primary school Bonamusadi, authorities here refused to talk to the cameras of my media prime television. However, classes were also effective and the two-shift policy instituted by the government of Cameroon as part of measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 in the school milieu was equally effective. It's being fully practiced. And in Boya Chief Town of the Southwest Region, schools resumed today, though timidly, with a partial ghost town observed in some neighborhoods. Our Southwest correspondent Larry Zeko with us was more on the following report. Boya, today, Monday, October 5, 2020, today marks the official reopening of schools for the 2020 2021 academic year, falling on a Monday that is often observed as the traditional Monday goes down. Not every neighborhood was lively as Boya Town. Very few taxis were in circulation at the early hours of the morning in neighborhoods such as Moliku, among others. Students, could hardly be spotted on the street as majority stayed home this first day of school. Visiting schools such as Government Primary School Boya Town, just about three pupils answered present. The situation was not different, GHS Boya Town. This low turnout of students and pupils this day one of school reopening, according to the head teacher of Government Primary School Boya Town, has been precipitated by the routine respect for the Monday Ghost Town, thereby leaving parents skeptical about sending their children to school this Monday. It is very poor because uh, the children are not there. We have one kid. The teachers are present, but the children are not there. This environment, the parents, they know that uh, Monday is ghost town and they are used to it, so they keep their children at home. It's not due to preparation. It is very difficult, you know, to change the minds of parents as far as that's concerned. We just need to do sensitization. We create awareness for parents to know that they have to send their children to school. Tomorrow, many children will come to school. The turnout will be very good tomorrow because they know that they have to be here. Corroborating with this assertion, these pupils who were spotted in the streets explain the reason why they are out of school this Monday, October 5. They are going to on Tuesday. They have not shown my uniform. Generally, the turnout of students and pupils this Monday, October 5, in most schools in Boya was low, but it is hoped that parents will send their children to school on Tuesday, October 6. 
Still in our back to school series, we now take you to Kambet Dongamangton Division of the Northwest Region of Cameroon, where thousands of students and pupils answered present on the one of the new school year. Staff man Lasha Kingsley, the following report tells us more. Thousands of students and pupils have effectively started schools this fifth day of October 2020 in Kambe, chief town of the Ndonga Mountain Division of the Northwest Region of Cameroon. I am Nadine Adamu, the head teacher of GS Binka and the coordinator of GF Binka Zoom. So this day, 5th October 2020, there was massive turn out of children in the school. We expected about 500 children and we had 346 children in school today. And the teachers that were there were four out of six. So it was really not easy to handle the children because of the crisis and equally they were not enough benches. But we managed to accommodate the children and to teach them what we teach today. The senior divisional officer from Donga Mountain Division Quentin Simon Do, accompanied by the traditional ruler of Kambe, the mayor and Honorable Ngala Jera, made a tour of some schools in Kambe to see things for themselves. There's no more than 10 people here. They already are very well aware that they need to be in school. You've seen it for yourself. They are in school uh, massively. And so at least we're going to call it funny. And the few that are not coming to follow the example of their friends and be in school, we're just calling up a few. Sentiments are those of joy, those of happiness for work well done. Uh, we have held a series of uh, sensitization, conscientization, motivation, influence, and even a mobilization of the populations to send children to school. Uh, uh, this year, and we are very satisfied with the results registered in uh, all the institutions we have visited in Kambe uh, and uh, the peripheral villages. It should be recalled that Kambe remains at the top when it comes to rejecting calls by separatists for school boycott. This has been the sole efforts of prominent elites of the region, like Shea Jones Yembe. Who has been working tirelessly behind the scene to ensure that this happened? Honorable Ngala Jera equally launched massive back to school campaign recently in Kambe, where he rallied the population to clean schools and prepare the community ahead of a school resumption this fifth day of October. The funds of Wat Zone, where schools have not been very effective for four years, equally resolved recently in Ba Palace that. Their kids must drive the spirit of fear and go back to school this academic year. Lasha Kingsley ending that report on today's human interest story. A 25-year-old gay Aisha Mali is under police custody after she stabbed her boyfriend to death in creepy South region of the country. Details of this story in the following report. Shock and consternation has once again gripped Cameroonians. Following reports of a lady who allegedly stabbed her boyfriend to death in Kribi Ocean Division, South Region of Cameroon. It is alleged Aisha Mali, the perpetrator of the act, stabbed her boyfriend Arthur Akono in the heart after a heated debate between the couple. Sources say Aisha Mali, mother of one, stabbed her boyfriend for giving her 80,000 instead of the 100,000 she demanded, while other sources say she stabbed him for being unfaithful. Arthur Akono, is reported to have died in the emergency unit of a health center where he was rushed for medical attention. At praise time, 25-year-old Aisha Mali is under custody at the Kribi Central Police Station for further investigations while the body of her boyfriend is in a morgue pending barrier. This incident comes barely months after the divisional officer of Kribi, Frank Deling Oyono Ebanga, allegedly shot his 23-year-old girlfriend Lydian to death on Saturday, July 25, 2020 at his residence in Kribi. 
Let's go back to our back to school series now in we mentioned the vision of the Northwest region where there was a 40% effective school resumption with most teachers present. Our correspondent Kewa Charles was in Woon today and says administrative authorities reassured parents of security of their kids. His, his report from Woon. The new school year in Woom Mencham Division of the Northwest region commenced with 40% effective school resumption with most teachers present on campus. Uh, to realize that uh, the school is very effective here in uh, Woom, uh, the Mencham Division, because uh, the tour we, we did with uh, all my staff showed that uh, the principals are in the various uh, high school and primary school. And presently we are in high school, uh, yeah, government high school womb. And we, we realize that uh, teachers are in their classes. And we have at about 40% of uh, teachers already uh, in town and in their various schools. Womb Council Mayor Drambong Antonim Vu, the GO Womb and Menchum SDO Abdullahi Aliu, accompanied by Etan Major, visit some schools in the municipality and division to ensure effective start of classes. Not only uh, the problem of uh, loving the school, so they have the challenge of the means. We have gone through tough times, the levels of service, and the challenge is there that some parents don't have finances. We are encouraging them. We are going to talk with the principals and the head teachers not to start in teaching on school fees from now, so that at least they can have the children come back and they give the, the parents some time to pay the fees this way. The days ahead turn out is expected on pupils and students in the municipality and the division. Following weeks of community mobilization, head teachers and principals assure the academic year is promising. I want to promise the parents that the teachers will do their best capture, to catch up with uh, what we have lost so far. Parents and school attending pupils and students have been assured by the administration of the division measures have been taken to ensure effective heat free back to school. The new school year in Mentum Division has commenced within a difficult context as academic stakeholders are expected to grapple with the challenges imposed by the coronavirus pandemic. Now some 45 kids at the Trinity Foundation of Farnage Bepanda Duala over the weekend received didactic material from the Association for Training and Rural Development. The materials were aimed at better equipping these kids for the 2020-2021 school year. More on this with our reporter Nora Kakebi. It was all smiles and joy at the Trinity Foundation of Farnage at Bipanda Duala, where 45 orphans received some didactic materials over the weekend from their Truth Foundation in partnership with the Duala Ports Authority. The back to school period, which usually comes with so much strain and stress, has been made less stressful at the Trinity of Farnage as these children receive gifts of pens, pencils, chalk, rulers, amongst others. According to the manager of our truth, the mission and vision of the foundation is to change lives and empower communities. He stresses that it is a routine by a truth foundation to gift the less privileged in times like this, considering the fact that some of these children ran away from the rest of regions as a result of the socio-economic crisis. I'm so impressed and delighted for this gesture made by the Dwala Port Authority is changing lives and empowering communities. So this is just a few days to go with the academic year 2021. So we thought it wise and we pleaded with the uh, Dwala Port Authority to help us with some didactic materials to see how we'll be able to send these kids back to school. Because some, many of them have been going through a lot of crisis, uh, the crisis within Anglophone area, which is a political instability in Anglophone zones. And this orphanage, which is the Trinity Foundation, took so many of them, which they no more have parents. They, know, they are now orphans. So most of them have been harbored here by this lady. So I just want to thank them for being, uh, making up right up to an extent where we, we have been able to purchase some of the directing materials for these kids to go back to school. The coordinator of the Trinity Foundation of an Age is grateful and thankful to Atrud and the 
Nora Kakebi's report ends today's edition of Prime News on Ma Media Prime Television. It was coordinated by Lasha Kingsley, compiled and produced by Ewane Nolinga Eli. Up next is Prime Hour with Kumyona. Stay tuned to more programs on Ma Media Prime Television and see you tomorrow. God willing. Good night from our studios.